What's going on guys? AJ with Colorado Fisher. We finally found some ice. It's been super warm, but hey, it happens. Delayed, but we're gonna get out there today. We're gonna chase some brook trout, aggressive master angler brook trout. I hope we get on a whole bunch. You'll have to find out, I suppose. So stay tuned. Let's get on that ice and get on some fish. Let's go. guys it'll be me to be the first we just want to make sure we get good ice but it's definitely over eight inches so we are good to go First ice attempt for me, fellas. I've got a tickle stick, guys. Light 36 with a President Fuller reel. I've got a pulse how we're going fishing under spin jig head. Should be pretty straightforward fishing today as long as we find a fish just like all fishing we drop it down and hope something comes by to eat there may be deeper it's six feet of water and i'm close to shore i'm gonna start shallow right here and then i'm gonna work my way around but you want to cover as much depth as you can until you find where they're concentrating on just want to gotta have to get a sense of the ice first just so that way I cover my bases and there it is there's a big one down there just as I was about to pull out nothing wrong with exploring you know Never gonna work all of this, of course, and see if we can catch them. Stay tuned. I'm finding a consistent seven feet. I think I just, oh yeah. first one. Oh, that's a nice brook, you guys. What a brook trout. Right on that Paul Sauer. Look at that big hook jaw. Guys, huge hook jaw. Let's catch as many as we can. Wow. Probably a solid 16. Yes! Well, that was a uh, that was rather quick. Once you get to a spot where they are, it's on. That was happening while I was trying to get the other uh, rod ready. I want you guys to see. Oh, that one just hammered it. But I want you guys to see when I. They're just coming out of the water on their own. Don't let them bounce their head. What an absolute beauty cookie cutter. 16 inches, let's let him go. Well, that was awesome. I uh, really hope guys that that came up on the camera just perfect. So my cadence is uh, been, uh, pretty much the bottom. And uh, what I'll do is, uh, 
when I get it all the way down, as you can see on my live scope, let it hit the bottom just in case there's fish cruising it. And then I lift it up, oh, I would just say about 10 inches. And my goal is to see that uh, the fish can, can see it. And then if I mark a fish higher, I reel up to it. See, we've caught a couple here, and I'm thinking if I don't see a fish come in in about two, two flat minutes, I'm going to move. Um, just gotta keep moving around. You grind, you get to fish. Not bad, two so far. I think we can get more. Just need to think. I'm catching them in seven feet. Maybe they have left the shallows because they spawn in shallower areas back in October, November. So I think that time has passed. And right as I say that, there is one that just took. Right as I say that. Nice, a brookie. Right on that Paul Sauer once again. We're gonna measure one for once, huh? Let's see. Let's get out the jig. Right on the assassin. Guys, these are 15, 16 inch brookies. Beautiful quality fish. I think it's time to let it go. Yes, it's our third one. Yes, yes, yes. Let's get back down. I think we're gonna have an excellent show, so far at least. Whoop. Oh. Just had one come up while I was trying to. <laughs> oh my lord. I don't think I can even put it down before they're hammering it. One of the smaller ones. That one didn't even allow me to get it down much. It, it hammered it. This one came up the hole to hit this. <laughs> That is cool. I don't even have to wait much. <laughs> this is one of the most unbelievable fishing for brookies I've ever done. And I tell you what, oh my God. There's a fish that came through before he... Okay, at this point, I'm, I'm gonna actually stop using the uh, live scope. There's absolutely no need. We're hammering them. So that, uh, yeah, we, we, we don't need a live scope. It's fun, but we, but we don't need it. Guys, average cookie cutter, 15 incher. It's time to go yet again. Back to the mobile configuration. On to the next. You know, any day. Here we go. There we go. Oh, that's a, that is a sizable rookie, guys. Wow, that's a 16 all day. And on the Paul Sauer again. If you don't have it, guys, highly recommend purchasing a Sauer. Another cookie cutter 15, let's let him go. We're gonna keep going back. We're at seven feet of water. I'm 
catching a couple in every hole I drop, so if I don't catch one in a couple of minutes, I move on. I'm hanging mostly towards the bottom. That's when I've noticed they're coming from to attack the jig. So start where they're hanging out and work them as they come in. Oh yeah, we nailed that, we nailed that, we nailed it. Stay home, baby. Ooh, that might be a rainbow. Nope, that was just a, a giant brook. <laughs> Come on, Biggie Brookie, give me another chance. Please. Ooh. Oh, yeah. I think I've got a better hook set, but of course. That's a good fish. Oh, my. That is a thick brookie, thick brookie. Wow, what an absolute stud of a male. Set that hook pretty good. Oh, yep, I bet you it's 15. No, nope, this one is master angler. Look at that, 16 on the dot. The assassin is killing it, y'all, whether it's open water or ice fishing. I'm heading down. Live scope helps like a ton. I can see when they're coming from six to 10 feet away. If I could give you guys one tip, when you go to a lot of these lakes, we all fish. Try not to go to the same lakes all the time. Just give it a break and come back to it two or three weeks later. I've seen way too many people posting up in the same spots over and over and say, hey, fishing has gone downhill, it's got ruined. No, they're just pressured. Yeah, uh, they tend to be more finicky. You give it a break, get back to it. Your chances are much better. I worked that whole column, as you guys can see on my uh, live scope. There she is. You see my lure, so I kind of go all the way up. At times, that'll bring a chase out of nowhere. If I don't get it, I just drop right back down, as you can see. And uh, oftentimes, fish will come in and go right to it or hit it. Well guys, I was about to move, and there's a fish now, coming right at me. Just had a feeling that was gonna happen. Hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it. Hit it, hit it, hit it. Come back, you bastard. I know you got a taste. Come on. I, well, that's a good fish. Either that or they get magnified. No, that's a good fish. Yep. Another 16. Oh, these are just so darn beautiful. I could catch them all day. Yes, I love, love, I love the live scope. Just makes it so much more fun. If you don't have a live scope, go buy one. Oh, see, that one was suspended. I mean, that fish came from six feet that way to eat that point I was making earlier. It's worth the call. Oh, oh, dude. Guys, look at this fish. It's going to eat. Don't know which one. Come on, smack it, let's go, let's go. Oh, don't give up, don't give up. They're just like Lakers. I know you guys have fished for lake trout. At times, they can be just like Lakers. Chase it up and down the water column. Oh, oh. oh. yeah, yeah, you see? Don't give up, it's right there. Fuck, eat it, 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 eat it. Come on, come on. Come on, look at that, guys. It's on me. It's on me. Oh, 
Got him. Man. No. Oh. No, 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 no. Go back. Da. Da, oh, man. That one chased. He's back. Oh, two of them. Oh, they were fighting each other. Oh, he's going to let himself. Oh, this is a beautiful one. Oh, my. Wow. What a beaut. On that Paul Sauer again. Male, the teeth just cut me. Woo. I don't know why I'm measuring it. They're just either 15 or they're 16, guys. No more uh, slow-mo. I'm just gonna let them go. Speed the process up. We're just going to uh, catch and go, catch and go, catch and go. Let's go, baby. Seems like the sweet spot has been uh, six to eight feet of water. So we're gonna stay with it. Oh my God. Oh my God. Guys, I can't even, I can't even hit bottom before these fish come up and absolutely choke it. We're gonna let it go fast. On the Paul Sour. Super active, my gosh. This is unreal. I don't, I don't think I even need a live scope down there. It's just in my way. <laughs> Last couple of fish have missled from the side. Here we go. Eat it, eat it, fella. Eat it, big fella. Come on, look at that, guys. Look at that big red blob. What's his deal? Ooh, there's two. Maybe they fight for it. Maybe they... Whew. Can't believe it. I think he actually, he bit. Leave it dead sticking. Golly, come back, guy. You had a taste. Worst part is when they're lingering there and they just don't hit it. Gosh, oh, he bit, he bit, he bit. He got a taste. Chased? Yeah. That time he chased. That's what he wanted. That's what the guy wanted. That's what you want, a little buddy. There it is. All right, guys. Well, is this it for this area? Let's find out. We've nailed about four, maybe five here. A count is about 10 or 12. It's nice to not have to go deep at all. So I just think I'm going to work the shallow to, to uh, deeper drop-offs. It's a steady steady drop so meaning gets four five six seven there's nothing just big as far as a drop goes so yeah that's really all we're fishing hopefully the wind isn't too bad guys i got my jacket covering it yep let's roll this was awesome though what a nice hole i marked it so for future to come here with the with the camera oh i love the setup the chair and everything very comfy we're just gonna keep working. I drilled a hole there earlier, so I came across the lake, so I'm gonna work this short line now. Let's go, baby. Now we're in uh, 10 feet of water. I may be too deep though, we may have to. Ooh, not too deep at all. See, I got that one not paying attention at all. Might be a might be a rainbow. Check your drag. Yeah, that's definitely a rainbow. Yep. Hundred percent. That's a brookie, that's a giant. Yeah. That's 
definitely not a rainbow. I'm gonna remove my fish finder because Oh no, that is one of the hardest fighting brickies I have ever come across. But you can see why. That is a chubby 16 year old, or 16 incher. Right on that Paul Sour. Let's let him go. What a beauty. I am not going too far between the holes at all. Just kind of doing like a 30, 40 foot. Seems like when you get to a new spot, it makes a huge difference. You're fishing new fish that haven't seen the lure. This is why whether you're at 11 Mile, Ontario, I don't care what body of water, Granby, you gotta just keep moving. I will leave the jig that is worked for me in the description below. I highly recommend you give it a look and a purchase. I simply just don't use anything else. And I've got specifically the underspin, which I would recommend the underspin if it's sunny like this, because it allows that flash to be seen from a mile away. So it brings fish in, the blade of the vibration and the flash, it just brings them in. And then early low light or sunset, I'd use the non underspin version. Uh, they glow in the dark. That's just kind of my setup. Column check, column check, column check. Nothing, okay. Drop it like it's hot. Column check, column check, column check, column check. And drop it like it's hot. I'd really like to see some rock points. I know brookies love hanging out at rock points, so I'm gonna go check it out. I found the rock pile, because there's a rock right there. And I know there's more under here. And yes, ice is consistent. We're at 13 feet now, so will they be there? There's a fish. There's a fish, guys. All right, we're right, 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 right. Come on, come on. Come on, hit it. Oh yeah, we got him. Oh, now that's a hog. Wow. What a beautiful male. Guys, look at that hook jaw. Phenomenal fish. They're a nice hook jaw. Ah, man. I gotta measure this. That is a 16 incher. Oh yeah. Uh, nice hook jaw, let's let him go. Yes, 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 yes. It's been amazing. We have caught at least 10 brook trout. Last couple of fish have been uh, doing a whole chase thing. Guys, right as I shut off my dang camera, one follows me all the way to the top of the hole. And then he hits twice. And then there he is. We're snooting these, guys. Snooting these in 10 feet of water. It's pretty warm out here, so I'm not worried about him being in the open. Um, I mean, it's like 45 degrees. Anywho, let's let him go. Yes! This, this 13 feet of water is actually proving to be more productive than the shallower parts. Alright, back to below 10 feet. If there's more rocks, that way I think I'll make my way. This is just kind of like a flat... Not really any structure to be excited about. Might be the first hole I drilled with uh, no fish. 
either bad or my expectations have been set so high. I have read as I said that there's literally two. Literally. Another cookie cutter. Mostly mostly nails. company with me some cool people I've had one dancing with me for like 20 minutes eat already come on what are you doing oh it's getting windy we're gonna go finish the day off where we started see if we can get some in 10 to 15 minutes catch that one fish and call it a day back to the shallows where I started where we did super good this morning you gotta finish where you started, and there we go. A lot of beauty. That was fast. Fast and furious. Another quality fish, guys, before they go. Pickle sticks are the way to go, man, I'm telling you. The sensitive tip. The backbone, it just doesn't get any better. And I've broken a tip of mine, and you could still use it literally all the way up until you run out of green. I wasn't even paying attention. Wow, that is the thickest one of the day. That's our last one, guys. That is our last one. It looks like a tiger from above. Our last one, I'm back. Let's let it go. It was a pleasure. See you guys at the outro. Well, guys, thank you for watching the Brook Trout episode. We caught about 20 fish. It was awesome. All of Paul Sour Hair Jigs. We're here at the Botanical Gardens, seeing the lights. We're going to continue. Hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, guys. Take it easy.